When I first moved to North America more than a decade ago, I became fixated on hiking, camping, and exploring all the back roads I could find. Somewhere along the way, I was given a copy of a Hot Springs guidebook, and before I knew it, I fell in love with these natural wonders. With those as my destination, I explored the remote corners of British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, California, and more. To this day, I can't explain my fascination. There's something about the way the hot water has been coming out of the ground for millions of years, and it will continue to do so for millions more. When I'm sitting in a hot spring, I know more than ever before, the earth isn't just a collection of rocks. It really is alive. When I heard about a hot spring nicknamed Superlative, I knew I had to get there. No doubt, this place is my paradise. So we drove until about sunset, which is uh, 9.30 at this uh, time of year here in BC. And uh, we found this amazing campsite, green grass right on the side of the river. It's gonna be a beautiful spot. I'll have to show you around in the morning. But uh, we're exhausted right now. It's been a huge day. We hiked up a mountain and then drove all the way over those logging roads. So uh, we just had a really quick dinner. We're not even gonna light a fire. We're just about to climb up stairs for bed. And uh, I'll show you around in the morning. So sleep tight, everyone. I'm just about to take some star photos and I'll show you what it looks like in this spot that we found. So uh, I'm pretty excited for what comes tomorrow. Gonna get into one of my favorite places in all of British Columbia. So in the meantime, check out what it actually looks like. Good morning, everyone. It is a stunning day here in the mountains. Uh, I've just climbed out of bed, coffee's on the boil, and uh, I'll show you around where we camped last night. There's the Jeep and uh, friends behind me there, they're in their Delica van, one of those awesome diesel four-wheel drive vans from Japan. They're pretty common up here in British Columbia. Lots of people have them because they only have to be 15 years old to import into Canada and uh, they're pretty good vehicles. I think these guys got one that only has 60,000 miles on it, and so I think that makes it a good one. Whereas if you find one that's got a lot more than that, I think they start to be more trouble than they're worth. But uh, here's where we camped last night. So here's the river, the mountains there behind me. This spot is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, there is not a cloud in the sky today. It is such a beautiful day. So uh, we're gonna make some coffee, some breakfast, might even go for a swim in the river here. And then the plan is we're gonna gear up and we have to drive another hour, hour and a half, and then put on our hiking packs and we're gonna hike for uh, nine kilometers. What is that, like five miles? And uh, I know the destination is absolutely beautiful, so it's all gonna be worth it. But uh, right now I'm just pretty excited for coffee. So uh, coffee time, and then we'll get moving some more. So we've just driven down this logging road, and uh, this brings back some great memories. Here's the Jeep behind me. And so this is the spot 13 years ago, I drove in here and I camped right here behind me. I'll throw the photo up. This is where my brother and I camped for a night, and then we day hiked into where I'm going. So you can see it snowed overnight and then for our hike there was snow the whole way and uh, so this is this is a really fun time for me to be back here i'm really excited this is one of the most beautiful places that i've ever been uh, period and so i'm really excited the parking lot's more developed than it was it's obviously busier than it used to be but uh, yeah hiking in with three friends and uh, gonna camp the night so this is where we leave the jeep uh, we can't drive from here we're going into like a wilderness area and uh, so there's no roads and it starts to get pretty remote. You can see the mountain uh, over here behind me. It's pretty big and uh, yeah, so we're gonna get really remote and this is where I've loaded, you know, tent, sleeping bag, thermarest, food, stove, clothes, everything into my backpack. And uh, this is my faithful old backpack that I've had since the beginning of time. I've taken that on literally every adventure I've ever been on. Uh, this is the one I had with me for all of South America. And yeah, now we begin the next phase of getting into uh, this amazing wilderness place that I'm really looking forward to. So come along, I'll bring you on the hiking adventure now. From the very beginning of the hike, we knew we were onto a good thing. The wilderness here is thick, 
The afternoon was hot and there wasn't another soul around. We had the entire hike to ourselves and we reveled in every minute of it. So we've been hiking maybe an hour now and uh, there was a massive fallen tree over the trail and so we took a bit of a detour and we've been coming through this devil's club now for a while. You can see we're not on much of a trail right now. Uh, the word lost was just thrown around so are we lost or are we just making our own way? Hard to say really. <laughs> I'm trying not to trip over here while I walk and talk. But I believe I did just hear my friend celebrate. Yes, indeed. Hey, that looks like the real trail. Huh. So maybe on the way back, we'll just stay on the real trail. <laughs> but uh, we're certainly getting there. The mountains in front of us are enormous. There's still a lot of snow up there. Uh, it almost looks sort of glacier-like. But I don't think it is a glacier. Uh, but yeah, going to continue on now. We're on the trail. We'll make good time. Let me come have a look. Whoa. And bears sometimes have all five claws yeah. as well, right? Just a bit. Here's the claw mark as well. You can really see how long its claws are. Could be grizzly, but it's not huge. on this trail just keep getting better and better just stop for a water break check out this meadow this is unbelievable i mean these wildflowers are just gorgeous look how many of them there are they're just everywhere and then the classic mountain with little traces of snow left this is the kind of stuff that we're hiking through this is unbelievable way out here we haven't even reached the payoff yet it just keeps getting better and better. So we just finished hiking in and you can see the mosquitoes are very, very friendly. But uh, here we're just setting up camp in this meadow. I'll give you a 360 here. Have a look at this sunset on that mountain. Down here, you can probably just hear there's a creek running and then all the way into the distance, all those mountains. You can see the sun's just going down. We got here pretty late. But uh, is this not one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen? And uh, you haven't even seen the hot spring yet, so wait till I show you that. We're going to set up camp and cook some dinner before we get eaten alive. Hopefully the mosquitoes will die off and we can jump in the hot spring and soak all night. And then chances are I'll get up super early. I might try and get up before the sun and I'll head down to the hot spring and I'll show you guys around down there. But in the meantime, this is the view we're going to have while cooking dinner. And uh, if sunset kicks on, I'll pull the camera out again and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And not too far away, some snow there on the mountain. So I don't know what elevation we're at up here. Must be nearly 2,000 meters, I'm going to say, maybe 1,800. So yeah, super happy we've made it in. Feels great to have the pack off. 
and uh, time for dinner. I'm hungry. Good morning everyone. I've just woken up and I was supposed to get up at sunrise but that didn't happen. So instead I'm getting up now and I want to show you guys what it looks like. I haven't been outside yet either. So just opened up the tent. Here's the view. <laughs> what a place to wake up to. Here's the tent covered in condensation. The sun's just come above the mountain. This is such a beautiful place. And uh, I'm gonna head down to the hot spring now, jump in for a quick soak. Hopefully there aren't other people around and I can show you what it looks like. And of course the mosquitoes are out again already. So uh, it's gonna be another mosquito-y day here. Hopefully the sun will burn them off. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's go for a walk down to a hot spring. This is unbelievable. So here I am, check out this scene. There's steam pouring off the mountains. We've got a beautiful creek down there. And then here in the foreground, this is the soaking tub. This is absolutely beautiful. I soaked in here last night under the stars. Check out the view you get down to the creek. My friends are down there right now soaking in the cold water before they come back for another hot soak. So this wooden boardwalk and this soaking tub, they're all new. They weren't here last time, 13 years ago. Uh, and I think Parks was kind of at war with people. They were building many soaking pools and then Parks were coming and destroying them. And it was kind of an ongoing thing. But I guess now Parks have made their decision and they've just made this pool once and for all and said, you know, this is the one you're allowed to soak here. And you can see there's even valves. You can turn on and off the hot water and the cold water. You can drain the tubs so you can get rid of all the slime. And there is so much hot water coming out of the ground here. It comes out at about 70 degrees Celsius in a few places, hence all that steam over there. And this isn't even the bulk of it. There's more in other places. They just try to keep people in this area because this is the only place they want us to actually soak. So I don't know about you guys, but I find this place incredibly beautiful and personally, I've been to maybe 50 wilderness hot springs in my life. I'm gonna rate this right up there as one of the best. Super happy that I made it in here again after all of these years. It was an effort, but as always, it was well worth it. So there we are guys, we've just finished packing up camp, we've packed all our bags. We couldn't help ourselves, we all just jumped in the creek to try and cool down. It is hot today. And so now we have our nine kilometer hike out again. So hot springs I will be back and hopefully in less than 13 years this time so this is the view I've got right now this is the trail I'm about to hike down this is absolutely stunning it's kind of hard to believe where we are and where we've hiked to and now we're about to hike home again so until next time guys I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the road chose me if you have let me know in the comments hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you next time